Uh, okay, from Captain Z, honest question, does the number, oh, wow, it's an actual question. Does the number of partners for you affect the ability to form long-term relationships or serious emotional connections? Like, how do you eliminate the emotion of the act? Well, I mean, last year, I probably had sex with four guys total, and it was all for work. So, like, people think I just fuck all the I, I know I keep touching my hair. People just Me think, too. <laughs> people just keep, like, here's a, there, this is, like, another thing that pisses me off. People are like, oh, how many guys have you fucked? Bitch, I literally fucked, like, four guys the entire year. Yeah, I, so back you, off. So I mostly shoot solo content with a dildo. So if you count that, then okay, a lot. Prior to OnlyFans, like, yes, I've been in the industry for 18 years, but I trust you, me, I still fucked less guys than your fucking regular local uh, bottle service girl. Because I would work with the same guys over and over and over again. So does that count as like a number? No, I don't think it doesn't so. count. No, it's a repeat. My entire, yeah, my entire career, I've been under contract. So I've been like literally working with the same guys over and over and over again. Now, in the beginning of my career, yeah, I worked with a few like various guys. And then it just got like a roster of dudes that was just on the wheel of repeat. So those of you that are thinking I fucked a thousand guys, I'm sorry, but I haven't. Has it affect your, and I don't even know about your relationship status, but has it affected? how has it affected your well, ability to have uh, relationships the it's i've always had a boyfriend i've always been in the re, in the relationship um and it always starts with like the guy being okay and then emotions get involved he falls in love and then all of a sudden he wants the real me not be nikki benz right and i'm not okay with that like the, you met me as nikki benz i'm not gonna quit I like I here's my thing right I see girls quit the industry for a guy but the guy's not supporting them or helping them and then they come back broke with a wow. kid and they have to start over so my, my thing is this you want to take me out of the industry I don't expect you to like provide for me but start a business with me like let's build a kingdom okay but I'm not just gonna quit my industry just because you don't like it right? Like that's my mentality. You don't want me to work in it? No problem. I'm not a dumb bitch. I'll start a business with you. Period. The end. I like you know? that. Yeah. So like nobody's offered that to me. So I'm like, okay, then my job is going to be number one. Now I'm at a point right now where I literally don't want to date. I'm so over it. The last date was so fucking horrible. I went out with this Democrat. Oh no. Like, <laughs> oh no. What happened? At what point of the date did you know he was a Democrat? When he told me that well, for one, when he wanted to split the check. <laughs> ah, not the first date. Come on. Did he ask you out or did you okay. ask him out? It, it was sort of like, I guess it, it was mutual, but like he picked the restaurant, right? It'd be so, so funny if you were like, he was a Democrat. It was Mitt Romney. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, I don't care if you're a Democrat or, or actually I do care. I, I realized that if you're far left, we're not going to get along because our views are so different. And, um, you know, and then you'll meet those people. They'll be like, I'm actually a communist. And I'm like, holy Ugh. fuck. Then they really want to split the bill. They want to <laughs> split the bill with everybody else in the restaurant. Right. Um, and then, and then this guy, so this guy that I was on a date with, he was talking shit about like a car that I drive, not realizing that I drive that car. And he was just talking shit. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, what car would you buy? So he's, he's telling me, he's like, well, I would buy a Mercedes so-and-so. And I'm like, well, what do you actually drive? And he drives like some fucking Prius. And I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, it was Can't just like- trust a man else. who drives a Prius. And nope. he had an issue with me having a gun. Yes, I'm a gun owner. Um, why? Because when I got my gun in 2020, I felt so much fucking safer. I lived in West Hollywood. Oh, there was yeah activity going on on doheny i used to live off of doheny if you know okay i know where that is and one of my windows was on the first floor i, I lived oh, in a yeah. condo and i'm like i feel so know. unsafe because people were throwing bricks they were setting shit on fire i'm like i want to get a gun and as soon as i got one i felt protect i felt safer i don't ever want to use it but i would rather have it and not ever have to use it then have to use it and not have it. So I tried to explain that to him and he just like, just totally just thought it like I was the worst human being because I own a gun. And I'm like, you know what? 
fuck you. Like it's and then- a childhood mentality. That's literally like a 19 year old. Oh, I'm afraid of guns. I just got out of college. Like what adult man is like, I don't know. Yeah. That's a, that's a red flag when I do war and these are the type of guys that are out there. I'm a little concerned. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, uh, Mr. Goodnight wants to know what type of gun. Um, I have two Glocks and I have a, um, uh, two Glocks nine millimeter and I have a 1911 nine millimeter as well. Woo. All right. I think the chat just got a boner. <laughs> be like a girl with a gun love you guys thank you for the chats thank you for the comments i will see you guys tomorrow bye bye all right love you guys oh, i don't even want to leave this candle smells so good i don't want to leave all right love you guys talk to you soon bye love you all join the discord feet love you all wow you guys are awesome love you, bye guys bye now i'm really leaving love you bye